Hello everyone, this is DA from Me Academy and today this video is about Archimedean property. So firstly we'll see what is meant by Archimedean property or what is Archimedean property and then we will work on the proof of it. So let's talk about the statement of Archimedean property first. So the Archimedean property states that if we take an element from the number line R, then there exists a natural number N corresponding to that real number X. So if X is any number taken from the, taken from the real line R, then there exists a corresponding natural number to that X. When, what is the relation between that X and N? So, such that x is always less than or equal to that corresponding natural number. So, Archimedean property only tells us about that this natural number n is not bounded in R. So, this is the statement of the Archimedean property that we are going to prove. So, let's start the proof. We will do this proof by a contradiction that that we will assume this assertion is false and then we will see what is the outcome of uh, taking this as a false assertion. So let this n is not only this n but all of the natural numbers are less than this x. Now if so this x is greater than or equal to every possible natural number. If this happens, then this x is now the upper bound of this set n. x is said to be the upper bound of the natural numbers now because of this thing. So if x is the upper bound, so now by the completeness property, if x is the upper bound of n, then there must be a supremum of that n as well. So let u be the supremum of, of n. Or we can simply write it as that by this thing, that completeness property implies that there exists a u in R such that the supremum of n is equal to u and we can also say that u is greater than or equal to every possible natural number. So because this u is said to be the supremum of the n and if we subtract a minor positive thing from this u then this u is then not to be that supremum of n. So let take 1 so if 1 is subtracted from, from u, then u minus 1 is, is not a supremum of, of n now. So if, this is, if it is not a supremum of n, then there must be an element in n that is greater than this element u minus 1 because u minus 1 is not a supremum of this n. So there exists uh, n1 in n such that u minus 1 is less than or equal to that element. So if we add 1 on both sides, then we can get u is less than or equal to n1 plus 1. So as n1 was the element of the natural number, so n1 plus 1 is also an element of the natural number. So this u is less than or equal to one element of the natural number because this element was taken at random. So if u is less than or equal to if, if there is only one element in n that have this property that is greater than or equal to that u, then u is not to be the supremum of n. So here, by this thing, this thing is the one that contradicts our assumption of this thing. And if this is not true, then this is not true, then this is not true. And eventually our assumption about about this that our assumption about this thing that every possible natural number is less than or equal to that x in R so is false. 
So now this implies that so this result implies that that this is true and the set of natural numbers is not bounded in R and this is what the Archimedean property is. So we have proved the Archimedean property here with the help of the contradiction by taking this assumption as a full assumption and then we have seen that our definition of being an upper bound is taken as a false definition of, of being treated in the set of the natural numbers. So, so this is how we prove the Archimedean property. So this is for now looking for more such videos and you can subscribe to this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos. We will meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.